Hello and welcome to Insight here on Zodiac. My name is Teresa Tumikandanga. Today we are discussing politics, but especially the politics that has to do with the former president, Dr. Joyce Banda, who is not in the country. Uh, she's been outside the country for quite some time. And I have her spokesperson, Mr. Ndekwiche Chantonya. Welcome to the program today. Thank you, Teresa. Um, so let's begin from the beginning. Yes. What's keeping Dr. Joyce Banda busy at the moment? Um, as you are aware that uh, Dr. Joyce Bander, who is the founder of the Joyce Bander Foundation, has, which has been in the country, has been, well, has been operating since 1997, and it's got several projects, and it's got offices here in Malawi, in South Africa, in the States. Um, so she's been working on uh, projects to do with the Joyce Bander Foundation, She's been going around uh, giving motivation speeches, motivation talks, and basically because she is invited by all sorts of uh, people to, uh, to attend one conference or the next mm -hmm. and talk about her experience, but also address her six pillars, which um, she has been championing through her adult life, um, which are uh, youth empowerment, women empowerment, uh, maternal health, um, there's economic empowerment, oh, right. and then there's uh, children's um, education. Right. Yeah, and then girl rights. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is since 2014, since she lost the election, that has been her focus? That has been her focus, yes. Which essentially means she has abandoned the political life. She's the founder of the People's Party, the former ruling party. She founded the party when she was still vice president and then uh, she took the party into government when she became president. Soon after she lost, she abandoned the party or she abandoned the politics of the PP. Abandon is a word that you would use. I wouldn't use that word because I don't think that word is appropriate. I think that she concentrates on both uh, on both ends. I do not uh, think that uh, the politics of the People's Party has actually required her to actually physically be in the country because uh, the party has not exactly suffered because of her absence. The party has moved on. The party continues it's to move with her. To hear. It's interesting to hear you say that, that uh, uh, the party has not suffered. We have seen a lot of people um, abandon PP, including um, uh, Mr. Gwenge, who was the, the running mate, Dr. Joyce Banda's running mate. We have seen a lot of people, senior people that worked with uh, Dr. Joyce Banda, leave the party, and you're saying it hasn't suffered? I love that fact. I love that the fact that you make that point. Now, tell me one person who has not left the People's Party who has not, who has left, who has rather left the People's Party, who has not left another party before? Tell me one person. But wouldn't you attribute it, it that leaving, uh, to the fact that Dr. Joyce Banda is not present, present and uh, the party is basically crumbling? I mean, the strength of any political party is in its membership. So if the membership is leaving the party, would you still be confident that the party uh, remains united, remains strong in the country? If you go around, you find that the people, uh, the, the, the majority of the members are intact. The majority of the committees are intact. And how, and the, how, how do you make that conclusion? Oh, we have, they have meetings. They have meetings, they meet, they, so we know. We have ways of, uh, uh, or the party, has ways of knowing if they still have the membership or not. And the majority of the people that, are, that were always with the party are still with the party. But if you talk about the people that have left, the people that uh, the media usually gives attention to when they leave, those are people who have left other parties before. They, mm -hmm. You will not give me a name of a person who is in people's party who has left, but who has left, but has never left another political party ever. But isn't that what happens in Malawi most of the times? Shouldn't as a founder, so, and the leader so of in the other party, words, so in other words, people who leave 
regardless because that's what you're saying no, no, that that is what happens in this country but not regardless i do think that if Dr. Joyce Banda managed to convince some people to join her People's Party when she founded this particular party. She had to strive to keep these people within the party. It's not that they will leave just because they have to leave. There will have to be a reason why they are leaving. Actually, shouldn't it be um, a point, a plus to Dr. Joyce Banda to see that maybe if these people are leaving, it's because I'm not available? I think that the people that leave that have left right. have a pattern of leaving political parties. And they're not necessarily leaving because Dr. Joyce Band is not in the country, even if she was. Have you not seen people leave uh, DBB when their leader is still there? Have you not seen people leave MCP when their leader is still there? Have you not seen people leave UDF when their leader is still there, is, there, is present? So people that leave political parties have a pattern of leaving political parties. Are you so saying things wouldn't have been different if Dr. Joyce Banda was still in the country. It will, it will be the I'm same saying time. leaving a political party is a personal decision that people make. And the people that have left have a pattern of leaving political parties. I understand um, that. But what I'm saying is, do you mean, therefore, if Dr. Joyce Banda was in the country, people would still leave the party? I think what I've said is very clear. People have left DPP when the leader is there. They have left uh, MCP when their leader is there. They have left UDF when their leader is there. What I have said, Teresa, is very clear. D for Dr. Joyce Banda, this living, where there's a trend, happens everywhere, is it a concern for her that her party, which was once in government, now in opposition, is slowly losing its members? Is it a concern at all? If you're asking whether it's a personal concern, then I think that is a question that only Dr. Joyce Banda would re be able to respond. But you are her spokesperson. I am her spokesperson, and I am responding to the. I have responded to the pattern of the leaving. You, uh, there are questions that I can answer, and there are questions that are personal to her that I cannot answer. And I'm not going to sit here and give you a smart answer, which I can. But will I be honest? Maybe not. Now I want to be honest. I want this to be as honest as I can. And in all honesty, the question that you've asked me is a question that is best answered by Dr. Joyce Bander. <clears throat> there have been a lot of political analysts who have said maybe the party right now is crumbling because Dr. Joyce Bander is not in the country. Has she ever considered coming back home to hold the party together? Well, Dr. Joyce Bander will come when she, is, um, when she believes it's the right time for her to come. Um, I personally do not know um, what her strategy is, but I'm sure she has a strategy. Every politician has a, has a strategy. And uh, you might not be able to understand it. It might not make sense to you, but it is a strategy. With due respect, we have heard that response numerous times. Dr. Joyce Banda will be coming anytime soon. And then Dr. Joyce Banda uh, is planning to come. She will come at the right time. But when is the right time? But we, okay. Previously, I personally from our office, we have never said Dr. Joyce Banda is coming soon. We've always said that we will make a statement about when Dr. Joyce Banda is coming. We've never attached any timeline or soon to it. And I don't think you will find that report anyway. So when she is coming, we will issue a statement. Uh, is she running away from anything? Is there anything to run away from? You tell me. You, you're asking is she running away from, any, from anything? And I'm wondering if there is anything no, at all that she should I'm asking because she left the country soon after she lost in the election. And since then, she has stayed in the country. This is her home. Why can't she visit a town? Uh, you know, it, it becomes funny when you put it that way. Because everyone makes it sound like Soon after elections, Dr. Joyce Banda left. But you should recall that soon after elections, I think around May, June, she left the country. She went to attend an Africa AU summit. And then she came back. And when she came back, she had a series of uh, meetings with uh, party members. 
is that is that fair to you? I, I would consider that fair. Not okay. fair. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. She had meetings with party members. Right. She had the neck neck meeting. She did a couple of things. Yeah. She went to what's that place called? Um, Chiloé, mm -hmm. where she gave out blankets and the like. So she did some charity work for a foundation, and then she left. Um, again, going to. Uh, UNG, UN General Assembly. Do you remember Chabunda say? Do you remember Honorable Chabunda saying that uh, he, she went there to overshadow the president? I don't remember. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So she left at that time, and then after that, which was almost like this time of the year. So yes. she left in September, uh, having lost around September August, having left um, uh, office in in uh, in in May. And since then, after that time, she has not really come here home to stay. And this is where my question is coming from. So since then, she has had... Now, if you would be fair, we have told you continuously about what Dr. Joyce Bander is doing. Every time. And she's been attending conferences to conferences, summits to summits, and uh, receiving awards along the way. And now she was doing her research at the Wilson Center. Mm -hmm. So obviously, it's not like she's just out somewhere, not doing anything, and we have no knowledge about what she's doing. Right. When in actual fact, we all know that she's been working. Right. Now, whether that... Uh, go ahead. Okay, I, I wanted to uh, bring your attention now to the uh, arrest warrant uh, that the police announced uh, in relation to what they say, cash get um, uh, uh, charges. Um, and, and I wanted to find out what has been her reaction um, after she just learned about the warrant of arrest and if she's considering to come home to answer those charges. Okay. Let's begin with the reaction. The, I think that um, no one, and uh, she doesn't understand where all these issues coming from because she has no knowledge about anything. She doesn't understand why they this would... This is what I would expect from any suspect. I mean, sometimes you would say... No, I a have suspect to... would actually know you're, something you're about... Just... A genuine suspect would probably know she anything. She is a suspect right now. Uh, do you... Have you seen the warrant? Well, the police have announced the warrant. And you if know, we are to you get know, to take Teresa, what the police have told us, she is a suspect right now. You know, Teresa, in all this... And we are not saying she is guilty, but... No, 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 that's suspect. for the court. Right. But what I'm saying is that in all this, she is the victim because uh, the police issued a warrant, mm -hmm. which is... Well, not issued a warrant. The police don't issue war warrants. The police announced that they have issued a warrant, that they have okay. obtained a warrant, right? right? The media just went out writing about it, right? Which is no one do. bothered. Which is what you do. Which is we which, write which about is the things that which is happening. not which is not exactly which is, I think is the problem. I think I the push problem push that push when the police release a statement, journalists will pick on it and write about it. Dr. Joyce Bander releases several statements. The journalists pick on them and write on stories. So you can't necessarily blame the journalists. Let's talk about the I'm, of I'm, not, I'm not blaming the journalists. Right. I am saying that you took what the police said, even, at, even though at, on the same day I made it clear that we don't understand where this warrant has come from or where they have obtained it from. And no one has bothered to check. Have you, have, has has your, Zodiac bothered to check where, which court issued that warrant? Because we can't find it. Mm -hmm. The courts won't admit that they issued any warrant. Now, let me know, I'm not, I'm not ignorant of the fact that a warrant of arrest is presented to the suspect, a suspect mm -hmm. upon execution. Right. I am not ignorant of that fact. But I am saying, listen, so in, an, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the event that the police have no idea about where the person is, and they communicate with us, of, of did they actually communicate? No, no, no. I mean the OPC communicates with us right. over so many things, so they know that we know where Dr. Joe Spander is. 
right? Mm -hmm. Would it not have been reasonable for them to tell us? Because Dr. Joyce Banda said, okay, fine, I am willing to come and uh, I'm willing to make myself available to the police, but show, show us the warrant. But who are they going to show it to? Because as they just say, they have to show it to the suspect. And you, the suspect is... You know, the you know where there are situations where there are always exceptional circumstances. Things that drive certain things to go in a certain way as opposed to what normally happens. So because of what... what no, I'm not saying they should treat us special. Mm -hmm. That's not what I'm saying. All right. I am saying there was a better way. They are going to tell Interpol what they are saying they've told Interpol, there's no record at Interpol. So essentially what you're saying is that you think there's no arrest warrant? Yes, basically. So if Dr. Joyce Band arrived today, you think there won't be any arrest? I don't know. I don't know whether there will be an arrest or not. But what I am saying is that unless, unless someone needs to someone needs to open up and uh, literally show show someone the warrant mm -hmm. N right now even the pol even at police you don't get a concrete answer even w the courts even at which, is, which is what sometimes you would expect considering that it's not the actual suspect going there to ask uh, for that particular information then, it's a third party then why would uh, they tell um, okay but you so so they would have told Interpol, and why hasn't Interpol done anything? Because it's not like people don't know where Dr. Joyce Bander is. So, for me, isn't this presenting an opportunity for Dr. Joyce Bander if she says that she had nothing to do with Kashket to come home and get cleared by the court? But who is asking? Malawians, because there have been speculations. People who have been tried in court for Kashket, they have mentioned Dr. Joyce Bander. You know it. And I would think that this is an opportunity for her to clear her name. I love the fact that you bring that up. Tell me one person who has mentioned Dr. Joyce Banda Mr. Lutebo. in a court of law. Mr. Lutebo. Lutebo never mentioned Joyce Banda in a court of law. In documents that were presented in court. Mr. Lutebo has mentioned Dr. Well, the first time Lute Mr. Lutebo mentioned Dr. Joyce Banda was when you gave him free airtime. On the, I think it was around the 20th of November. If you go to November, court documents today, the, you will find that. There are no court documents that Lutepo has. Lutepo's whole case, Lutep, Mr. Lutepo's whole case, there was no mention of Dr. Joyce Bander being a beneficiary, a strategist, or an accomplice but you do of know, Kashket. But you do know, Mr. Jantonia, that Dr. Joyce Bander has been mentioned by suspects some of these suspects that have been already convicted of cash gate cases. And I'm just saying, that does not prove that Dr. Joyce Banda is, is guilty, but wouldn't be, it be a chance, an opportunity for Dr. Joyce Banda to clear her name? And I am saying, you don't think tell so. me one that has mentioned that. No, can you answer my question? I, I am it, answering your question in saying, yes or no? In saying, I am, I am answering your question in saying, Tell me the one person that has and mentioned said, Dr. Joyce Banda. And I've Lutepo. And I've said Lutepo is not, Lutepo doesn't, doesn't qualify. Lut why not? Honorable Lutepo. Even if he mentioned it outside court, why not? Mr. Why doesn't Lutepo. he qualify? Because he mentions it out of court. Why doesn't he mention it in court? Well, if every issue begins outside court and then it is brought in court. Lutepo's and issue, is, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 this is the basis on which the ACB based its, also, its, its investigations also. Because Dr. Joyce Banda was mentioned by several uh, suspects, even during questioning by the SCB. And then the SCB took it up to begin investigation. And where have the investigation gone? What have they happened? What has happened since? According to what they have told us, they're saying that they have given the documents, those documents, their findings to the Malawi police. You know? Listen. Listen, okay, let's move been, on. It's been three years. No, 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 we can't move on before we clear it out. Because I need to also clear it out. Right. Because there is not a single person in any court of law that has said that Dr. Joyce Bander which is was a I'm beneficiary saying. or an accomplice. And the but Mr. Jantunia, which is what I'm saying, that these suspects, even if they mentioned her outside, we know that there have been investigations on Dr. Joyce Banda's involvement in Kashket. And I've just told you, on record, the ACB has said they have actually given the police their findings. But, but 
if when 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 would they have given them? Because you know we have waited for three for three years. The baker the baker the baker, the baker TD report right. audit report mm. came out, and he told us exactly what was happening. And of course, Doctor Joyce Vanda was name in there. No, it wasn't. You see, the thing with Kashket is that Kashket, as it is, was a scam by and patriotic civil servants I mean, and greedy spend, business. We can't spend a lot of time arguing outside court when authorities uh, are saying, uh, especially the investigating authorities, law enforcing authorities like the Malay police are saying, we think that Dr. Joyce Banda was involved in this particular thing and we want her to, to answer a case in court. I mean, why can't and, this, whatever is being said here, why can't this be argued in court? And, and, if, and if they finishes. want to argue, and if they want to argue in court, then take her to court. But they're not taking her to court. Which is why I'm saying, Dr. Joyce Banda, as someone who is really a law-abiding citizen, to show her goodwill, why can't she just come home? But there's no, but up? there's no one asking for, but there's no one, there's no court ordering her to come. There's no one or asking her. Out of goodwill, would she do it or not? Would she come out of goodwill? Right. Again, that would be a personal question to her. But all I am saying is that as far as we know, there is no one asking for her to come to appear in any court. The warrant of arrest that she says, listen, I am available. Talk to me. Right? She says that. She's they hide. They hide with the She's warrant. Of arrest. We yes. have gone. We have gone around asking the police. Asking the police. Look, look here. We just. Want, this is not the first time that the police. That the uh, government would have done something like this. Mm. You know, Onabonangoma uh, called all you journalists and told you he has CCTV footage of. Uh, um, well, we can have a whole lot of a discussion around that. No, but I'm we, trying we to know, show you. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you a pattern. Right. A pattern that leaves us not trusting from the word go. Go and listen, listen to my interviews on Zodiac from the word go, where we are actually questioning whether the warrant is there. It's a pattern. There have been other issues. We've given you vehicles. So you We've given you security. You think We've this given is political? I am just saying, there's a pattern. Of government, no, no. Lying. Can you come to a conclusion? Do you think that this is political? My conclusion is, there is a pattern of government lying over stuff to do with Dr. Joyce Banda. Given uh, the police, the Malawi police benefit of the doubt uh, that they are acting independently and that they would really want to get to the bottom of this. Again, my question: Would just Dr. Joyce? Can we see Dr. Joyce Banda come to Malawi soon? Because of the warrant, yeah. You so we should she should alter her plans because someone somewhere has woken up and decided to say, "Listen, I have a warrant of a, a warrant of arrest," and then in actual fact that warrant does not exist. So I take it the answer is no to that question. Uh, but, but let's talk about political ambitions. Dr. Joyce Banda's political ambitions. Is she going to come home? for politics. Well, Dr. Joyce Vanda is currently the president of the People's Party, therefore I am sure that she is actively, uh, she is in active politics. And is she going to stand again? Does she have any ambitions to contest at a convention and represent her party? I, what I know is that someone will present themselves and uh, the party will then choose at a convention who will present their party. Now, as to whether Dr. Joyce Banda will make her name available for election at a convention, I think that is a very personal question that I cannot respond to. Since now this is the third time you're telling me that's a personal question. But uh, you are her spokesperson, I'm sure she talks to you about it. But there are things that, now look, I can give you a smart answer. I'm not short of smart answers, but I don't want to lie to you that I will give you that, 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 that I, will, I don't want to lie to you. This is a very personal question to Dr. Joyce Panda, as it would be to every candidate from councillors, MPs, and presidents who want, who want to run. Exactly, but I mean, for people that want to run, obviously they talk to people that are close to them on their political ambitions, which is why I'm asking you. Dr. Joyce Panda? Right. We'll make 
a statement of who let us know. Okay. Uladi Musa, who has been the acting president of PP, PP in Dr. Joyce Banda's absence, has said that Dr. Joyce Banda's mandate expired on August 28th. And so right now, according to the constitution, uh, the PP constitution, which says that one would be in a position, um, a neck position, uh, for five years. And uh, five years expired on 28th of August. So I'm asking, is he going to renew her mandate? Or first of all, let's talk about the expiry of her mandate. Does she take it that uh, her mandate expired? Um, I'm sure that out of, uh, from my personal opinion, if uh, the mandate, <clears throat> if Dr. Joyce Banda's mandate has expired, then everyone's mandate in the party has expired. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that the party, the constitution, um, the framers of the PP constitution foresaw some, some kind of uh, that event happening and made a plan for it. So I, I, I really cannot give you an exact answer. Because if, if, if her mandate has expired, then everyone's mandate in the, in the, in the, in the party has expired. Right. Um, but I'm sure the, the, the constitution figured what will happen in such an well, event. Well, it says that then a conversion will be called, and she, as she being But it the must have, but it does have, until the convention is called, this is what happens. No, at the expiry of five years, a convention shall be called, and the uh, um, um, they, that mandate has expired in, in, on August 28th, uh, and as you're saying, maybe all positions, the mandate for all uh, other positions, NEC members, expired. But as the leader of a party, in which, what, what's in her which plan? Case, in, what's which her case, plan? in which case, then the, then the constitution would have given power to the Politburo to decide what happens in that particular case. Right. And I'm sure the political bureau, I do not speak on behalf of the party, therefore I cannot necessarily respond um, effectively um, yeah. to, to, but, to that. But would you know Dr. Joyce Banda's plan uh, to, to keep her party united, to still keep her party as uh, strong, uh, being the leader of PP? I didn't get what your question was. I'm saying, do you know, would you know Dr. Joyce Banda's plan in keeping PP together, her being the president of PP? I'm sure that uh, Dr. Joyce Banda communicates with the party, uh, the Politburo, the national executive members, and uh, I'm sure that the, the party who has a way of running and communicating with Dr. Joyce Banda and that she's able to implement her plans for the party. I cannot necessarily respond on what happens in the party. Mr. Antonio, thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you. Thank you.